Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free to use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. This is lesson eight in the foundation of maths section of the course. So if you haven't looked at the previous seven lessons, do check them out before doing this one, as it will help you make a lot more sense of the information given in this specific lesson. OK, in this lesson, we're going to start to round whole numbers and decimals. And we do this in order that we can make numbers more manageable and practical. But let me explain. If you were asked the question, what is the distance between two locations? Let's say London and Birmingham. It's unlikely that you'd say it's 125.745365 miles, which is the accurate distance. You're more likely to say it's 125 miles or even it's 125.7 miles. By rounding to the nearest whole number or decimal place, we've made much more sense of the question. We've made the number more manageable and practical. So let's look at how we round numbers. Here is a number line with the unit 3 on the left hand side and the unit 4 on the right hand side with tenth digits in between. Now let's consider all the tenths that are closer to the 3 than they are to the 4. They include 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 and 3.4. So if you have any of those numbers and we want to round to the nearest whole number, we would round down to 3. Now look at all the numbers that are nearer to the 4. They include 3.6, 3.7, 3.8 and 3.9. So if we have any of these numbers, and we wanted to round to the nearest whole number, we would round to 4, since they are closer to 4 than they are to the 3. Therefore, we are rounding up to 4. We've deliberately left out 3.5, as it's exactly the same distance between the whole number 3 and the whole number 4. Well, in maths, the 5 is deemed to be closer to the 4 Therefore, we round up to 4 rather than rounding down to 3. So let's do a quick check. If we want to round 3.8 to the nearest whole number, we would round up to 4 since the 8 in our 10th column is closer to the 4 than it is to the 3. OK, let's look at more complex decimals. Let's say we want to round 4.45 to the nearest tenth, or put it another way, to the nearest decimal place. So by using our place value knowledge, we know we're going to round this number to four point and a tenth digit. Now to do this, we need to look at numbers further down the decimal place value chain. In this instance, the hundredths column, which has a five in it. So let's look at a number line. Let's look at numbers between 4.4 and 4.5 using hundredths. So we start with 4.4 on the left hand side, and then we have a 4.41, a 4.42, a 4.43, a 4.44, a 4.45, a 4.46, a 4.47, a 4.48, a 4.49, and then a 4.5. Let's identify the midpoint, which coincidentally happens to be 4.45. Now, applying our rule, which is in maths, if we have a 5 in the number, we round up, we know that 4.45 is closer to 4.5 than it is to 4.4. Therefore, to answer our question, if we wanted to round 4.45 to the nearest tenth, the answer is 4.5. Let's do one more. We want to round up 7.566, but in this instance, we want to round to two decimal places. So using our place value knowledge, we know we'll end up with a number which has a 7 on the left-hand side of the decimal point and two digits on the right-hand side of the decimal point, a digit in the tenths column and a digit in the hundredth column. 
Furthermore, since we're looking to round up to two decimal places, i.e. a digit in the tenths column and a digit in the hundredths column, we know our final answer must be either 7.56 or 7.57. .57. So to work out which one is correct, we will need to consider the next number in our place value chain, i.e. the thousandths. And we can see in 7.566, the number in the thousandths column is 6 one thousandths. Let's draw out a number line. Therefore, our number line would have 7.56 on the left-hand side and 7.57 on the right-hand side. And we're going to fill in all the thousandths in between. So we've got 7.561, 7.562, 7.563, 7.564, and so on, until we get to 7.57. So if we look at our number, 7.566, we can see that it's closer to 7.57 than it is to 7.56. Therefore, rounding up to two decimal places, the answer is 7.57. Okay, now try the rounding up decimals test in the Foundation of Maths course. You can find lots more maths tutorial for nurses at www.nursenet.uk or if you're looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.